I, if anybody, if anybody believes that he is still innocent, if anybody out there is giving him still the benefit of the doubt, you need to holler at me because I need to know the reason why you still giving him the benefit of the doubt, especially when we got all this information and police do sometimes make mistakes. We all know that police do. <laughs> I won't even say sometimes, but you know, sometimes, you know, more than, more than they should, they make mistakes. But when I was sitting there watching this press conference and listening to everything, like all the communication he had with the Nigerians while they was out of the country, um, he was, he was, he had a lot of communication with them. And just, oh, and then y'all know, I'm just, this is just so much. This is like so much. And some people is like, you said Miss Sophia on Instagram still support him. Hunty, I, she needs to call in. Get her on the phone. <laughs> Get Miss Sophia on the phone because I I want to know like why I mean don't oh God didn't nobody want him to be guilty especially if you're a fan of his you know especially if you're a fan of the show we didn't want him to be guilty but as the days went by he was looking more and more and more like he stole the cookie out the cookie jar. He was looking more guiltier by the day. Talking about he without sin. Throw the, oh, yeah, I'm sure. He without sin cast the first stone. <laughs> we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Okay, we can quote all kind of scriptures. You tell Miss Miss Sophia to give me a call, Miss Hogg. Um, I would really like to speak to anybody. <laughs> And it's like, okay, yeah, we all have sinned. We all make mistakes. But this is so, like, far-fetched, so out there. All because you want a few more dollars, a few more zeros on the end of your check. So you go this far. You paying these Nigerians. And I still don't understand. Okay. I know they didn't play, well, one of them. I know he didn't play a big part on the show. I know he's not a, you know, uh, what do you call it? You said, oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, this, this, is, this is so much. Like, you know, I've seen somebody say the other day, I meant to say he's not, they're not a reoccurring actor on the show. But, so, I'm not going to say, though, that they probably broke and ain't got no money. But, $10,000 to somebody who is broke, you know, that's a lot of money. But, it's not enough of money for me to fake no attack and involve the police into it, law enforcement to it. You couldn't pay me enough money to do something like that. No, you can't. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. And they did everything they could to avoid, you know, being found out. Like they left the country when they got to a certain point, you know, on their way home, you know, in the cab or Uber or whatever they, you know, got home in. They got out, you know, before their home, you know, away from their home and walked, you know, the rest of the way. But thanks to all the cameras in the neighborhoods and all the, uh, you know, the cameras on the streets and buildings and everything. They were able to pinpoint exactly where they got in the cab, where they got out the cab, when they was with Jussie, when they left Jussie, when they got back in the cab, when they got back out the cab, when they walked home. I mean, you playing with the F to the B to the I. Okay? And I don't know who's worse, the IRS or the FBI, but I don't want to be involved with any of them. Any of those three big letters, I don't want to be involved with any of them, so you could not pay me enough. I don't know um, if... I don't know why those brothers did that. I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, fortunately for them, fortunately for them, 
They aren't going to receive any charges. Jesse is going to take all of this. He is going to take all of this, all of this heat on his own, all because they complied. You know, they basically, um, you said, yep, they thought they were slick. Law, enfor law enforcement was on it like white on rice. Like white on rice because this like, this like some weird, <laughs> man. The amount of crime that they have in Chicago, and then this on top of it, they thinking it's some crazy white men run around in the middle of the night, put nooses on brothers, gay people, black folk. <laughs> Man, they weren't going to rest. They were not going to rest. This ain't no everyday this ain't no everyday, you know, crime. This, this, okay. I think maybe within the past, I don't know, five or ten years, I think I did hear about a story where somebody was hung or dragged or something. Them type of crimes, um, you can murder a whole family. You can murder a whole family. And probably rape every one of the kids. And then somebody else could turn around and do what Jesse said they did to him. And I guarantee you they'll spend more hours on that hate crime than they will on that murder and sexual assault. I guarantee you they will. They will. And that's why the um, police superintendent was so pissed, like so upset. You said he put too much into that. So that's right. He could have been like, oh, yeah, you know, I got beat up. You know, somebody hit me in my eye. I got away. They took my foot long. <laughs> they took my foot long. But I made it home. He had to go as far as the news. They were white people. They were yelling racial slurs, homophobic, homophobic slurs. And on top of that, on top of that, the letter. Now, I had said the other day that the letter, I said, now I don't believe if the letter was even real. And lo and behold, lo and behold, the letter wasn't even real. So you know what? He could be facing a federal charge on top of that. And the thing about it is, like they were saying on on GMA this morning, <laughs> Jesse, you had ample opportunity to steal. He, he still can say, I did it. I did it. You said all oh, while the manager was on the cell. Exactly. Exactly. He walking around for an hour or so with a noose still around his neck. First of all, after I got away, I'll be taking that thing off my neck. I might still have it in my hand and run home so I can give it away, give it to the, you know, the cops forever. The evidence, maybe they can get some fibers, some fingerprints, some sweat, some blood, some tears, you know, something off of there, you know, to help my case. Well, you know, help the case. <laughs> but, um, no, he didn't do all that. He had to go to the extremes. He had to go to the extremes in his story. He still... Oh, no. Robin, man. And you know Robin is a part of the LBGTQ. You know what I'm saying? And I love me some Robin Roberts. I loved her since she was, you know, in back playing basketball and all that in college and everything. But, um... And when she was doing reporting, you know, sports and whatnot... But um, Robin Roberts, I could tell when she was watching him, when she was asking him certain things and he was avoiding the questions, when she asked him about the phone, you know, I mean, just certain things that he was like trying to, you know, uh, avoid the questions, beating around the bush. Robin been doing this for a very, very, very long time. And because of the fact that she's black, 
Um, she's a minority. She's a female. She's in the LBG LB. Ugh. I always mess up when I try to say that, but you know what I mean. LBGTQ community. Um, I swear it was like Robin was sitting there and she was like looking right through him. Like, like <laughs> she probably wanted. <laughs> You know, she she couldn't do what she probably wanted to do, which was like call him a big old whole lie, you know, on national television. <laughs> but I'm sure that's what was going through her head. Like this, this, he lying. He lying. Why are you lying? You ain't got a lie to kick it. Why are you lying? You right. She was like, you know, I see you. I see right through you. 